Meanwhile, across America, statues are being toppled. Streets and schools have been renamed. We're in the middle of a revolution, remember, all for the sake of purging the memory of long ago racism. But in New York, they have a very different plan. They're now honoring a genocidal dictator. Amazing. The city council, led by Jumani Williams, who's a frequent guest on this show. If you watch, you'll know exactly who he is, running for lieutenant governor of New York right now, just voted to rename a street after the Haitian dictator Jean-Jacques de Saline. In the early 1800s, de Saline ordered the genocide of all white people on the island. That included men, women, and children. And he did it. It's what he is best known for. New York City apparently finds that impressive, so impressive, they're going to name a street after him. Seth Barron is associate editor of City Journal. He joins us tonight. Seth, thanks a lot for coming on. Did, Talk did I ever state you. that? Uh, no, I um, think you were right. I mean, you were right. Welcome okay, to Okay, so zero. what is this about? Um, yeah, well, well, exactly. Well, you know, I think it would make perfect sense to have a statue or a street named after Jean-Jacques Dessalines in Port-au-Prince, the Haitian capital. Right. I don't understand why we're doing it in New York City. Uh, I mean, there are a number of Haitians here in Brooklyn, uh, yes. you know, near there. But, um, you know, this is advocated by the same people, Jumani Williams and others, who want to tear down the Col statue of Columbus at Columbus Circle, who want to rename, you know, uh, Stuyvesant High School because Stuyvesant owns slaves. Um, so it's a very extreme kind of measure. I mean, if you recall, a year ago, Jumani Williams uh, was very much in favor of the Puerto Rican Day Parade honoring Oscar Lopez Rivera. I know you had him on then. Uh, Oscar Lopez Rivera yes. was a terrorist who bombed a um, major uh, historic landmark downtown and killed several people, including a, a cop. Um, but this is who, you know, there he is. This is who um, the city is now apparently uh, honoring and favoring. What's so, st I mean, there are a couple of interesting things about this, but the first is that multiculturalism isn't real. So we were told that multiculturalism is when lots of cultures kind of coexist happily and all that. This is really destroying one culture and replacing it with the, with the new, a foreign culture. I mean, <clears> that <throat> appears to be, we're taking your monuments down and putting ours up. I mean, that's <clears throat> kind of what's going on. Well, I talked to one member of the city council, a Republican, who voted for it, uh, for this street renaming, and he sort of indicated that this was like insurance or a SOP, this way, this, this will protect Columbus. Like, if we give them this street for, uh, after Desalines, then they won't come after Columbus. Uh, and I said, that's like the strategy of feeding your friends to the crocodiles in hopes that they'll eat you last. Uh, you know, I, I think that they'll have Desalines and take Columbus eventually, if they, when they want to, when they're ready. But Columbus discovered America, and this is America, so maybe there's a reason we celebrate Columbus. Dessaline, whatever, I'm sure he had good points in addition to being a genocidal nutcase. Sure. You know, no well, one uh, is monochromatic, but, like, what does that have to do with America? Well, I mean, history, nothing, right? You know, history is complicated. Something? History is complicated, and everybody yeah, has, know. Has, their, has their mixed, you know, their mixed story. According to Jumani Williams, um, Columbus, Jefferson, Washington, it's all arbitrary why they're honored and Dessaline or Mugabe, yeah. I guess, aren't. Uh, so I you guess know. that's next, Mugabe. Yeah. Seth Barron, City Journal. That was a great story. Thank you for that very much. We're going to talk Thanks, to Jumani Williams, I think, next week about this.